Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News and exciting, exciting news guys. Yes, I received the email today that OS X 10.9 Mavericks is ready to download and test out for us developers and you must give your contribution to see what is going on. You got to submit all your bugs and all the goodies and stuff. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more in there so you guys can check out the installation process and all the contribution that you have to do. And uh, I clicked on the link. I'm setting up my tripod right here so I can show you guys what I've done so far. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited. Like right now, I'm going to redeem my code. As you can see, I'm going to redeem my code. And once I get my code, I'm going to go into uh, the Mac App Store right here. Go into the Mac App Store. And I'm going to redeem a code. Once I redeem my code, I can, I'm able to download what I need to download so I can start testing out. So I'm going to stop the video now, and once I finish with the download stuff, we are going to get started. And we're back. So you see, it looks like I redeemed my code, and as you can see, uh, it is ready to be downloaded. It's already inside my purchase location, and I'm going to hit the download button right now. And it's giving me this. You cannot complete your purchase. OS X 10.9 Mountain Lion requires a cool a core do a core 2 duo core i3, i5, i7, or a Xeon processor. So I have to help grade my machine to Mountain Lion for me to do this. So hopefully let me do that. And once I do that, we're gonna continue doing it. Hey guys, welcome back and uh, I had to use uh, my wife's uh, laptop. She has a MacBook Pro, which is uh, the latest one. It has the requirements that I need. As you can see, I'm recording the screen. I upgraded the operating system uh, to uh, Mac Lion 10.7. And uh, I logged it into my Mac app. And I am downloading the 10.9 developers preview so I could upgrade my, my Lion OS. Now... If you notice right here on the side, I have two hard drives. Uh, I partitioned my hard drive. That's the best thing about Mac, that you're able to partition your hard drive on the fly, on the get-go, without any problems. So what I did, I gave myself an 80 gig hard drive. Name it at you know I named it BJ Tech News. Uh, I installed the Lion OS. Uh, I, I didn't use a CD. I have my ways in installing OSs because uh, back then I used to do deployment with Mac OS. So I got, I got a couple tricks under my sleeve. If you guys want to know what I did, leave me a comment below, and I am willing to do a video for you guys. Uh, but right now, uh, I'm downloading the 5 gig 10.9 uh, developers preview. Hopefully, it would be done by tonight. And once that's done, okay, guys, we can get so, the ball rolling. So far, rolling. what has been done? Um, originally, I had my MacBook Pro. Uh, an old one, it didn't work out because it didn't have the correct requirements. Got another MacBook Pro with the correct requirements. Uh, partition my original hard drive to a, uh, a secondary hard drive because I wasn't lying. It was Snow Leopard and I didn't want to lose all my good stuff. Wasn't lying. It was Snow Leopard and I didn't want to lose all my good stuff. So I installed a uh, line to it. So I downloaded a line to it. The OS downloaded uh, 10.9 developers the preview, OS X which was about five gigs. 10.9 developers and it is preview, ready to which was be about installed. five gigs. So I'm gonna click continue. And it is ready to be and installed. You can so read I'm gonna all click the good continue. stuff. And, and then we're gonna you can read all the good stuff. I'm going to agree. And then we're gonna accept. And yes, I'm going to the hard drive that I want it because that's the only one and that's yes, compatible. This is the hard drive that I want it because that's the only one that's compatible and that has. Lying on it, so we're gonna hit install. Password. And awesome. we need to put our password. And it awesome. is installing. Awesome. And it so is installing. Awesome. Is so I am going to pause the video, and once everything is completed, I am going to, I am going to restart the video and show you how everything looks. Again, this is a first boot with you guys. Awesome. So I just came back, and it looks like. My MacBook has rebooted into installation mode. This is what I like to call it when it grades out all right in the background. Got a nice little box that says install OS X. 
I like to call that uh, installation mode uh, because it just grades out. You don't see the desktop, don't see the icon or the dock or anything like that. It just tells you it's installing the operating system. So right now it's basically saying that it's installing into the disk, the hard drive. Most likely for you guys it's going to be like Macintosh HD, but I rename mine to BJ Tech News. And uh, the time remaining, like right now it's 41 minutes. So I'm going to wait it out for 41 minutes and we're going to go back and see how it looks. And it has finally restarted and installed. It, it looks like the login uh, looks a little bit just like the Lion version. But uh, I think my eyes deceived me. But I, I thought I saw something pop up in the Apple symbol. So let me log in and see how it looks. Again, this is the first boot with you guys. Pretty excited. I'm extremely excited uh, because uh, the Mac OS X 10.9 codename Merricks developers preview came out today. And oh, look at that. How beautiful is that? As soon as you sign in, you have to sign in with your Apple ID. So I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. And why not sign in with your Apple ID? So let's hit continue on that part. Apple ID security. Protect your Apple ID by creating a new security question and adding a rescue email. I'm going to say not now for now. And let's hit continue. Uh, terms and conditions. I'm going to agree. I'm going to, uh, I have read and agreed. Yep, I'm going to agree to that. And Find My Mac allows you to send this Mac message and remotely lock or erase it. Would you like to enable Find My Mac? That's pretty interesting. So let's go enable. And it's completing installation. Less than a minute remaining. Awesome. Uh, looks like it's pretty fast. And once it is completed, I guess we're going to be booted into the desktop. Okay, so it's finished completing its installation part, and it's basically saying thank you. Apple is very polite, and uh, it says your Mac is set up and ready to use. So let's cl let's click on this little arrow right here in the bottom. This arrow right here says start using your Mac. So let's start using my Mac. Okay, so we are into the desktop. As soon as I logged into the desktop, uh, you know that was the last thing that I had. I had my App Store. Uh, up and running. Uh, it wants me to log into my iMessage password. Please enter your password for the account. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm not a huge fan with Keychain, so I'm just not going to use that. And let's let's navigate. Let's close the App Store. And let's let's play around. Let's see what's new. This is the Mission Control. Nothing new here. This looks just like the Lion. Uh, I just want to make sure, I don't want to trick you guys, but I am running 10.9, and the build is 13A476U. Again, this build is not the final build. It's only the preview uh, build for developers only, and most likely when the final build comes out, this number is going to change, so it's it, it looks pretty cool. So let's see. Let's Oh, they got notes. This is pretty awesome. That's a new app that they got out called Notes. That's pretty awesome. What else do they have? And let's check out the calendar because I know the calendar portion was reinvented and rebuilt. The calendar looks a little different. Looks pretty nice. Probably need to pre populate this with one of my calendars. But that looks pretty cool. I like the notes feature. Let's open this guy up right here. And I normally like to use the column portion. It looks like they changed the view of selecting and highlighting. AirDrop is here. Pretty cool. AirDrop lets you share wireless with other nearby other people who don't have you in, in the contact will see you as blah. That's pretty cool. You got your downloads. It looks like the icons were changed a little bit. Here goes the tags feature that they had. 
which is awesome. Everything in red, everything in orange. This is pretty awesome. I like the tags thing. Um, let's go to applications. Ooh, look at this. Let's see. Let's see. They got Messenger. They got Game Center. I think Game Center was on Lion. They got notes. They still got stickies, which I'm happy about that. Uh, what's this right here? This is a nice little new button. Edit tags. Share selected items. Change the item arrangements. That's pretty cool. That looks, this is nice. I like this. Again, guys, this is the first boot, so most likely I have to play around with this new operating system. Check out what's the, the latest and greatest on it. The documents folder, desktop. I don't know. Let's see, uh, F3, that's F3. What else? What else? What's what's I don't think iTunes was rebuilt. Was iTunes rebuilt with the new operating system? Let's agree with that and see how that's going. I don't know. It's running extremely smooth. I tell you that right now. Uh, I am impressed with the performance. Uh, don't download. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, it looks like iTunes wasn't uh, rebuilt. Looks like it's the same iTunes, just version... 11.0.3 11 it's okay with me um, what else what else a new finder I'm trying to figure out how to do the tabs open a new tab there it goes ah how cool is that so this is a new feature that they have with the finder I believe Safari was also rebuilt with performance enhancements as well as uh, in upgrading the technology I mean not the technology but upgrading the Java stuff so this is pretty cool our version is Safari Safari is now running 7.0 for this build that's pretty cool I like the tab portion of this Again, this is a first boot with you guys. You know, I'm, I'm playing around with it. I have to play a little bit more to see the ins and out of this. But to me, everything is looking pretty sweet. It's a combination between an iPad and also a uh, Lion. You know, here goes Maps. I heard that they added Maps. I'm, I'm trying to find uh, the iBook, Mission Control, which is that. Uh, let's go to Mission Control, go to Dashboard. Nothing new with the dashboard. Everything looks the same to me. Let's get out of there. Uh, launch pad. I know for some reason I thought they had the iBook. They don't have the iBook. I thought they had the iBook embedded into the system. Let's go to system preferences and see if system preferences changed. Uh, they got the dentation and speech. This is pretty new. I never noticed this on Lion. Notification portion. I know that was also part of the new uh, 10.9 upgrade, which is pretty awesome. Look at this. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a the feeling of, of the new OS is like an iPad or an iPhone. So they got the display. I know they did huge enhancements with the display with multiple displays I don't have a secondary mo um, display to test that out but I'll probably test that out later on let's go back into the applications folder and uh, yeah I can't do much I gotta play around with it do a little bit more research on this play around with the app see what else they got new uh, I'll probably do like a, a benchmark on performance wise and do a video for you guys later on. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this first boot of the Mac OS X 10.9 codename Mavericks, which is the developer's preview. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.